Hey everyone! So yesterday I uploaded a video about a story. Uh, so I was thinking like I should continue another story related to that. It is called Sleep Paralysis. Anyways, so some of you know what sleep paralysis is, some of you don't. Mainly it's a genetic that like 50% of Americans have it. Well, because I just saw it in the United States, like, Google thing. And a lot of people, and a lot of, I've seen a lot of people say that, too, in their, in their stories. But, my sleep paralysis, the first time I ever had it, and it terrified me so much, I honestly thought I was, like, getting, a, like, I don't know. Like, there was evil spirits, like, trying to kill me or something <laughs> so yeah the first time it happened to me was when I was 17 and I was sleep I was taking a nap actually and I don't like taking naps honestly yeah, I don't like taking naps so I was taking a nap on a couch a lazy chair couch I was just sleeping like sitting sleeping sitting whatever and then suddenly like I'm like I suddenly open my eyes but I was like, I feel like I was squint, squinting, and well, I felt like my arms was were being grabbed down, and my legs were being like hold onto, like like if I was tied up or something. My legs were tied up, but my arms were being held down, my shoulder was being held down, and my head was being held down like like that. And I just I just heard a lot of laughter like behind me, like around this area like that. And I was like really terrified. I'm like, oh no, what's going on? So I managed to wake up and I was like, I ain't gonna go up. I ain't gonna go there again. <laughs> so then, yeah, there's so many sleep paralysis. Like I've had recent ones, but the more recent, like the ones I had last year, it was more creepy. Like. Literally, I was like, I thought someone was with me in the room. It was in this room. It was another room, but I really thought there was someone next next to me, laying next to me. I grabbed their hand, and then their hand felt like like a normal hand, but except with no bones. Like I couldn't feel any bones on, on the hand. I was like, I was just holding on the hand. I don't even know why I was high holding on. I guess I was holding on so like, cause I was scared, but I was also scared of that thing, whatever it was. But it was like, probably like like the length of my I don't know it was like yeah it was probably the size of my shoulder this little this bean thingy because it was like kind of like that character in the American Horror Story the new one sort of like that but except not all wrinkly and stuff but like a morph morph soup skin tone and yeah it's like literally like a standing human being with no bones but it looks like he does, like, it does have bones. And, yeah, very terrifying. That one, terrifying. But the most terrifying one I had was um, an Inception dream where I was dreaming and then something weird popped out. And I was like, I woke up. I'm like, oh, it was just a dream. Then something came out of the closet, something really creepy. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I hope this is not real life. And then I wake up and I'm like, oh, that was just another dream. And then more creepy stuff happens, and then I wake up again, and I'm like, that's another dream. Until I guess I woke up the fifth time. That's, like, the fifth time I was, like, sick of it. I was like, is this another dream? Um, Just wake up. I was like, wait a minute. It took me, like, at least probably five minutes to realize it wasn't a dream. Like, I was actually in real life, and I was like, I was just scared because I was, like, home alone, and I didn't know what to do. But, yeah, sleep paralysis is, like, like, scary. But I got used to it. So, I know how I get them and when I get them. So, I gotta keep an eye on my, on my sleep patterns because that's what affects it. But there is one, there's another one, another story that goes way back before that one. Like, three years ago where I was actually taking a nap in the car. Because I was going to TJ because I had braces back then. See, retainers. I just recently put this retainer because of space. Um, 
I also like the way I talk with them. <laughs> anyway, so when I was going to TJ, I took a nap in the car. Like, usually everyone does that. But, you know, I was asleep in the back. And I was half awake, half asleep. I was trying to wake up, but I literally couldn't breathe. Like, I was trying to, like, wake up. I was trying to tell my parents to wake me up. It's just, it's just this work. Cause, because to them, they see it as me just, just sleeping. But in reality, it's like, like, you're trying to say, help, help me to wake up. But, you know, you can never tell when someone's having a sleep paralysis. So, that's what sucks about it. So, yeah. If you have sleep paralysis, um, I want to hear your story, actually. Because I want, I just, these kind of stories are, like, fascinating.